Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine. I'm back. I'm so excited to get here to chat with y'all and talk with y'all. I've missed you so much. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. If you're watching replay, thank you for watching. Um, so Christmas is over. Now we're moving on to something else. There's people, my friends hopping on. Hey Tina, I'm so excited y'all are here. I have missed y'all. It's been, it feels like forever. Hey, Amy. Hey, my friends. Hey, Marie and Tina. Y'all, I got sleepy. I ate supper and I got sleepy waiting. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm getting sleepy. Hey, Bertha and Cecile. Yay, y'all are all here. I'm so excited. I have missed y'all. It's been Christmas and now we're going into New Year's. And I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Yes, Tina, I miss y'all too. Hey, Barbara and Tammy. Um, so I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I did. I had a good Christmas. Um, as you know, I went to see my friend in New Orleans and we had a wild time. It was awesome. Wonderful time uh, getting to see them in her house and everything. Um, so, cause she just moved into a new house and it was fun and her family and all that. And then my boys are coming back tomorrow from their dad's house and Paige is with them, and so I will get to do Christmas with them. So, uh, hey, Jean and Pamela, I hope y'all had a great Christmas. I'm sure everybody did, but now we're, it's moving on. It doesn't, it just, you put everything up and cook all the stuff and do all the things, and it's gone <laughs> until next year. Um, hey, Rhonda and Joan, it's snowy and cold, and Joan, it's like 70 degrees here. In the south it's crazy and then sunday is supposed to be 35 is the high for us and right now it's 70 so it's gonna be like one you know it's i mean we've been warm for the last like five days and it's gonna be warm up until sunday and then it's gonna be 35 degrees so it's like it's either one way or the other it's not <laughs> in between hey bj yay okay so we're going to talk about some stuff. Um, I know I've been kind of giving y'all a little sneak peeks about things that's happening that I've got coming out and all this. Um, hey, Judy, I did enjoy New Orleans. It's a wonderful place. I love New Orleans. I've been there. I've been there so many times I can't count, but I love it. I love the culture. I love the, the you know, architectural stuff of the buildings. I love every bit of it. Um, so we had a wonderful time. Um Cold in Kansas. Well, that, that cold's coming this way, I think. So, uh, oh, you love my shirt? This is last year's shirt. Um, it says, all you need is love. So, I decided I would wear it since we're starting off our Valentine's or whatever we're doing. Um, not Christmas. <laughs> Christmas crafting's over. And I still have a list of my long of Christmas crafts that I wanted to get done. And it just didn't happen. So, I'll save that list till next year. Snowed in our driveway. Oh, my goodness. 83 in Florida. I'm, I know, Karen, because it's been like 75, 77 here in the daytime. And um, it's just hot. <laughs> Unseasonally hot. But I'll take it because I don't like it to be freezing. And then Sunday it's going to be freezing. Then we're supposed to get snow. And my birthday's Tuesday. It's probably going to snow on my birthday, which is fine. It's done that before. But I'm not a snow person. <laughs> but I'll stay inside and look at it from the window. Broke foot. Oh, goodness. Cold snowy Wisconsin. Okay, so we're going to do a Valentine's thing tonight. Um, we're going to talk about some stuff that I'm going to do that's coming up, especially this weekend. Um, Carrie, it's good. The New Orleans is good. Um, we went all over the place because Shaney is from there. She grew up there, and so she um, knows where all to go, and she took us to, like, those hotels that I showed you pictures of the Christmas decorations. That's like places that she goes and sees every single year. So we had to hit up all those spots of had, where she had to go. Um, and that one place called Lafitte's, it's at the end of Bourbon Street. It's the oldest bar in the United States. We went there. Um, it's just a lot of history in that city. A lot, a lot of history. Um, and there's so much to do. There's no way you can see it all. They have a fabulous zoo, all that, and the aquarium, and, you know, so much to do. Um... Yeah, it's hot here, Sheila, but they're saying snow. Well, I'm in North Mississippi, so we might get a little bit of it. So, we'll see. Um, it is. It's a very cool city. It's got a lot of good culture. Such a diversity of people. It's like a big melting pot of people. 
And it's just, you know, so much talent. Uh, snow in Oregon. Ugh. I just can't, I just can't handle tons and tons of snow. I know. I hope, Barbara, I hope we don't get storms. That's what I'm hoping. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Okay. So, this is, this little heart. I picked it up at the Dollar Tree, like, like last, I don't know, but right before Christmas, maybe. They were putting it out at mine, but they don't have it all out. Um, so, I'm just going to cut off this little thing. Take this sticker off the bat. Uh, Amy. You need, we need to be BFFs because that's like my favorite place ever is the Piano Bar at Pat O'Brien's. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love that place. I've opened it up and I've shut it down when I, in my younger days. <laughs> but I love the pianos and the dueling pianos. I think it's fabulous. Yeah, the architecture, Sally, is amazing. And I posted a picture of this church and I don't even remember the name of the church, but Shaney said it was a church right outside the Roosevelt Hotel and it's a lot of people get married there just because the inside's beautiful. It was locked. We couldn't go in. But the outside is just fabulous. Um, happy birthday on Tuesday. Yes, y'all. I will be the big 5-0 on Tuesday. When did I get old? I, I just don't... I don't even know how this happened because I was just like 25 the other day. It felt like. And now I'm 50. It's like, oh my gosh. I just can't even see how that's happening. Okay, so y'all remember we, what was it we did the other night and was it the Christmas tree and I tried to do the crackle on and the crackle didn't work. I'm going to, we're going to crackle tonight. We're going to crackle this heart and then we're going to add some elements to it make it real pretty because I have a place for this that I'm going to put this. I have like three tobacco baskets over the piece of furniture that I bought and the big one in the middle. I'm going to take that down and I'm going to put this in the middle of it for Valentine's. Hey, Karen. Yes, Susan, I love Pat O'Brien's too. And outside, let's see, where's my brown? Outside the entrance, the entrance to Pat O'Brien's is on the side street. Um, so not the exit. It exits onto Bourbon, but the, the entrance is on a side street. I think it's St. Peter, maybe. And there is a little hamburger place right across the street, and it's called Yo Mama's. And it has got the best cheeseburger in the whole world. And I tell everybody that. They're going to New Orleans. I'm like, you got to go eat a cheeseburger at your mama's. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm going to paint this brown because I want my under color. You know, when it crackles, the brown is going to show through. That's what I want to um, show through. So I'm just going to give this a quick coat of brown while we're sitting here chatting. Uh, Maria, it looks well as I do at 50. Well, I can't tell you that there's any fabulous secret that I've used some kind of facial cream or some kind of... No, because <laughs> I'm probably the world's worst about taking care of my face and taking my makeup off and all that stuff. I'm probably the worst. Probably make some people go, oh, no, no, no. You know, no, I just, I'm not one of those people that's, you know, I should be. I should take my makeup off and wash my face and do this whole regimen, but I just don't. I never have. I, I don't know why. I just can't get into it. I'll start off strong and good and I'm painting this uh, burnt umber. So if y'all are wondering, <laughs> um, I start off strong. I'm like, I'm going to do good. I'm going to clean my face and take my makeup off and all this kind of stuff. And then I don't do it anymore. <laughs> then I'm like, I fall off the wagon and quit doing it. But I try, you know, just like now I'm out here crafting. Well, my husband has to go to work and he has to be there at five in the morning. So, he'll go to bed here in about 30 minutes. So, when I go inside in our bathroom, he's asleep. So, I don't want to go wake him up. So, I just use like my makeup wipes and take my makeup off. You have a, Becky has a daughter older than me. Oh, goodness. Snow here in Oregon. Ugh, y'all. Killing me with the snow. The snow. You turned 55, Rhonda? You're not far from me at all. And I am not ashamed to say that I'm 50 because I've loved every age that I've been. Um, I've learned so much along the way and um, I just don't know how that happened <laughs> that fast. I'm like, when did this happen? It happened so fast. I blinked and my kids are growing up and grown and one of them's married and I'm like, how in the world is this happening? Yeah, I fall into the bed too. I'm just like, Oh, well, I wash it off in the morning, or I'm terrible about it. Oh, thank you, Barbie. You're so sweet. 
So I'm doing this just brown. And I actually think this is, it's raw umber. Did y'all know there was all these different umbers? There's burnt umber and this is raw umber. So I said, well, I'll try it. And it's more of a chocolatey brown. Snowing in Minnesota. Ugh. I guess it's coming down. The Arctic blast is coming down here. Because it's going to do a 40 degree drop between Saturday and Sunday. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh-oh. All right, why is my... It's not working. Hold on. Stay right there. Why is my... Okay, it's plugged in. It did this once before. I don't know if it's my extension cord. I think it is. Let's see if it comes on. Nope. Hold on, y'all. I didn't even try to make it come on before I... There it goes. Before I got on live, because we don't ever need to. It wasn't plugged into the power strip real well. Never been good at washing your makeup. See, I'm glad I'm not the only person. Negative 20. I, could, I just can't handle it, y'all. I promise I can't. I, I just, my body is just not made for it. But I've been down here in the south my whole life, so it gets down to, you know, 40. It's cold to me. I know, Crystal, I'm the same way. It's like 50. I just don't even feel 50. Um, my kids were just little not too long ago. It goes by so fast. Oh, so Myrtle Beach is getting it too. I think it's coming down and then going all the way across the U.S. Like this big blast. Rhonda, I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm telling you. I'm not doing the back just for time purposes. Y'all know how it is around here. The back may get done. May not get done. 82 in Texas. Going down in the 40s. Yeah, see? It's crazy weather we're having. All right, let me get this one spot. And I got to do the edge because I missed the whole side. Surprised y'all not telling me. Oh, you missed the whole side because y'all see a lot of stuff I don't see. <laughs> and I'm the one here doing it. And y'all are my other, y'all are my eyes on that side. 10 inches in southern Idaho. Jeez Louise. See, in the south, we shut down. Like, it snows. We don't have the equipment and per being prepared for that kind of weather. And it doesn't make sense for us to purchase the equipment. Because we may not use it for five years. They may not use a snow plow for five years or so. And so it just sits there. So, you know, why spend, you know, that much money, hundreds of thousands of dollars on a snow plow. And it only gets used once a decade or twice a decade. And so that's why we don't have that kind of equipment here. But we had 12 inches on the ground this past February. <laughs> that was no joke. Everything shut down. Post office, everything. <sighs> skincare in the morning but you're lazy about it at night see I am too I'm lazy about it but I use like the CeraVe and all that stuff on my face I just don't necessarily do it disciplined enough <laughs> but you know no face cream that I'm disciplined about I should be yes Kathy mine too raining and storming in Ohio Ooh. We're, it's, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow, and I'm hoping it's not going to get bad weather. Because, you know, it's so hot, and then when the cold air comes in, it's like we have tornadoes. On my trip, oh, we stayed with my friends that live in New, uh, New Orleans. Well, she lives in Covington, which is north of Lake Pontchartrain. If you know anything about New Orleans, Lake Pontchartrain is like a huge body of water, like huge body of water. That's north of New Orleans, like northwest, I think, a little bit. And it's actually the longest bridge in the world that's over water. So, I will say that. Um, I don't know why I did that, because I'm going to cover it up anyway. But, um, so she lives in Covington. So, that's where we stay with her. But, um, like I said, I've been to New Orleans so many times in my life. I don't even lost count. But, because I used to live really close. I used to live like three hours away from there, so... Since I was a kid, we would go down there and go to the zoo or whatever. They have a fabulous zoo. Storms tomorrow. Did y'all see um, Suki on today? Did y'all see her? I 
I'm so thirsty. We had pizza. And pizza makes me so thirsty. But Suki was on today from the hospital. And I was like sitting there perched waiting to hit the go. Um, let me see if they'll let me flip my camera. Um, to hit the button for when she came live. Because I was so excited to see her. And y'all, it's not letting me... It's not letting me flip my screen again. So, I don't know. I can't flip. Um, yeah, the bridge the bridge, is, the bridge is 24 miles long over water. <laughs> so, it's kind of scary. Okay. So, here is my crackle. I told y'all I got this monster bottle. And I've only used that much of it in like two years. So, um, I'm going to put... Yes, it was so good to see her. And she looked really good. She did... And she'll, she pops on here sometimes, but I was so tickled to see her. I just, tears came to my eyes because she has been through so, so much. Um, so, I'm going to put this crackle stuff on with a brush. And I'm actually going to do it pretty thick. Because I think last time somebody told me I needed to do it thick for bigger crackles. Um, Tammy, I'm in, I'm in North Mississippi. Right below Memphis is where I live. Everybody kind of knows where Memphis is, so that's why I always say that. All right, so I'm just putting, it's just like clear, it's just clear. So I'm just kind of putting a big coat on it, thick, a big coat, a thick coat. <laughs> that bridge scares you. Yeah, it's 24 miles long. I mean, that's a big body of water that you're crossing, and there's, at, at one point on the bridge, you can't see land, so... It's just, you're just out there on a bridge. But, um, I, w I didn't drive, so I was just in the back seat, not paying, you know, trying not to pay attention where we was going. Yeah, I don't know, Tammy. It, it, I don't know if it's an iPhone thing, because when I hit it, it just spins. And it did that the last time I was live, too, so maybe they'll get it corrected. So, I'm sorry that I'm backwards. Alright, so I'm just kind of getting a thick, thick coat. If y'all can see it, it's real shiny and wet so y'all can see it in the light there oh there goes my husband's air compressor it scares the devil out of me every time well i say it's my air compressor i use it every day on my lasers see deborah i'm glad i'm not the only one but i need to but the thing of it is about my skin is like you see all this stuff and you don't know what to buy it's like there's so many brands and there's so many it's this is for this and this is for this and you don't know what to put on your face like it's just so confusing. Hey, Kay, I did have a blessed Christmas. I hope you did, too. Melania, yeah, the, at night, it is kind of scary. You're just driving in the darkness. Yeah, Sandy, you saw her? Yes, it was so good to see her on. I was so tickled to see Suki on. Um, just keep praying for her. She is just a sweetheart. Oh, Suki is, um, she is another crafter. Um, her page is crafting with Suki, S-U-K-I, and, uh, she got COVID, and she's been in the hospital since, like, end of July, 1st of August, and she's still there, so it's, you know, messed up her lungs pretty bad, so if y'all could just say a prayer for her and go check out her pages, but she looks really good, um, she sounded real good and real good spirits, too, I was just, it amazes me. So, uh, yeah, Stacy lives near Nashville. Nice thing at Ulta and Sephora is you can try the products. If you don't like them, you can return them. Well, Kaylee, I didn't know that. But, you know, you go in there in, like, Ulta or something like that, and you're like, okay, I need to know what I need for my face. And the next thing you know, you're walking out, and you've got $200 worth of five or six products to put on your face. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't do this every month. Crazy. Normal people can't do that. <laughs> it's almost dry. See it? So we're going to try to get it to crackle. Hey, Edie from Indiana. Edie from Indiana. No, Lou, she's still in the hospital. I think she's like in a... I don't know if it's a hospital or if it's actually like a step-down kind of thing or a... I don't know. She's still on her oxygen and all that. She still has her trait. But she was talking and they, she was going through some stuff her daughter had bought at the Dollar Tree. 
Oh, the Chesapeake Bay goes underwater. Oh my Lord. The Mobile Bay Tunnel Bridge goes underwater. I've been over that millions of times. 40 miles. Okay, Kathy, you're from, you're 40 miles from Millage. You're really close. That's right, Yvonne. She has got a story to tell, and um, he's got more stuff for her to do. So I'm just tickled to death that she is in good spirits and she's doing good. I just teared up and shed some tears when she was on live because I couldn't believe how good she looked and how her spirits were so uh, uplifting. And it's like she is a blessing. Okay, we'll be praying for her, absolutely. Hey, Libby, I've been missing you too. I'm missing all of y'all, I'm telling you. I was like, the holidays, it just messes everything up and we're spending time with family and I love that too. But I hate to disappoint y'all and not come on, but um, Hans Cold Cream, Becky. I know about that Hans Cold Cream. I've used that too. Because my mama used it too. And all of her life. <laughs> Alright, it's almost dry. I'm telling y'all, put it on pretty thick. Yeah, she, she is. She's a true miracle. I mean, I thought she kept saying, y'all look so bad. Y'all don't. And I'm like, she does not look bad. She looks fabulous. Considering what she's been through. Oh, he has COVID and he's 14. Bless his heart. I'm hoping it's it passes quickly and everything it gets well fast. Hey Tanya. Well, that's what I thought too, Louise. Uh, I read that too, that about the lung transplant thing. So I guess we're just gonna wait and see, because you know God has showed up and showed out with her, and they might come back and say, you know what, we were wrong. You don't need a transplant. You're you're doing so much better. So that's what we're gonna say. We're gonna name it and claim it that she's not gonna have uh, have to have a lung transplant. So, cause he's done some miraculous things with her in the last four or five months. When they thought she was on her last leg, she's still with us, so he's not done. That's right, Yvonne, he is not done. Oh goodness, yeah, the COVID's just running rampant right now, so everybody needs to be careful and do all your precautions. Oh, somebody passed away, goodness, I hate that. Suki's page is called Crafting with Suki. And her daughters are trying to do some stuff for her there, you know, to keep the page going. But she, um, so she's gonna come on and do a craft, I think they said, maybe. Someone said you're not supposed to dry it. Yeah, it's you're supposed to let it dry. It says, base coat surface, let dry. Apply the medium and let that dry. And then you put the paint on top of that. Suki, Roxanne, Suki is another crafter. She has a page, Crafting with Suki. And she got COVID like end of July. And uh, she's been in the hospital ever since. And she's still in the hospital. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so thirsty. Okay, Joyce, I put on the folk art crackle medium. I know it's backwards. It won't let me switch it around. But it's just the crackle stuff. And you can get this in a smaller bottle. You can also do it with Elmer School Glue. Um, so now, I'm going to... So you put your base coat, like something dark. And then this is going to be my top coat. So what's going to crackle through is going to be the brown. Thank you, Becky. She put her page up there. So I'm going to do plaster, Waverly plaster. Okay, that's what I'm going to put on there. It says dry, let it dry. So that's what I, I did. All right, so now I think I'm gonna get this bigger brush. Uh, let's get the bigger brush. So the thing of it is, is you don't want to, that brush is kinda, it's kinda crunchy. <laughs> um, they say you don't wanna like go back and forth so much. So I'm gonna really try not to, but I am gonna load it up with paint so I'm just putting it on real thick because I don't want to go back and forth with it. That makes sense. <laughs> Seasonal gnomes. Yes, I will. Um, so speaking of that, Cindy, we're going to talk about what um, is coming up. Um, I've already started working on 
Valentine's um, stuff that I'm going to put out. I started on that. And um, so what I'm going to do... Yeah, don't go over it twice. Y'all look at it. It's already crackling. Can y'all see it? Look, it's like magic. <laughs> so yeah, don't go like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, Cause you'll mess up your little crackles right there. We'll try not to. And we'll go over that again cause it's thin, but hopefully it'll crackle. That's why I'm trying to get like a big gob of it on and just kind of going over it. Um, so, so, so Saturday, no, yes, is that the first? Yes, yeah, Saturday, I am starting a, um, you know, the little mini things that I put out for the gumball machines. I am going to do a, um, uh -oh, a monthly subscription thing where you can do a monthly subscription and you will get them every single month and the ones that will be you know the people that are in the subscription will get that design and that design only it won't be released outside of that um this is turning out to be a hot mess because y'all want to go back and forth so bad um so it will be mailed to you every month um okay it's crackling it's crackling it's crackling it's crackling y'all see it um, so we're going to let that dry while we're sitting here talking. Um, thank you, Charlene. Okay. All right. So I forgot what I was saying. Uh, and we're going to make some stuff to go on here. So y'all don't go anywhere. I guess I'll let it dry. Um, so I've been showing y'all pictures. And so what will happen is you'll get, um, uh, you'll get a box in the mail with the little mini stuff in it. Every month there'll be a different theme for the coming holiday or whatever. Um, and it will automatically come to your house every single month. Um, so it's like a subscription type thing, but it's just for the mini things. And I will offer other minis on my page on the in the shop, but it will be something totally different than what that subscription is. That will be a design that's totally just for them. And then <clears throat> there will be a... Facebook group that you will go into and we will get in there once a month and I'll show you how to paint it like three different ways or or what have you. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be like just for the minis. It's just going to be the mini things that we put in the gumball machines or you can do whatever you want to with them. You don't have to do them for the gumball machines. Who is looking so good. Um, so this is the first set. So this will be the only set that you actually get to see before it comes to you. The rest of them will be a total surprise. So when you get the box, you'll open it up and be like, oh wow, you know, you won't know what it is. So, um, so it'll be a total surprise. So like this is the first set that you that will come and this will be shipped out. Let's see, it starts on the first. So it'll close that Friday. I'll leave it open a week for you to sign up. And then I won't open it again for about three or four months. Um, so once it closes, I'll ship those boxes. They'll go out right then. They'll go out with that next Monday. So it'll, it'll be open on Saturday the 1st till Friday. Is that the 5th? No, 5th, 6th, 7th, the 7th or 8th. And then it'll close and all those boxes will ship out that Monday. They'll go instantly. Um, Tina, I'm, I'm, Got something in the works on that too. But this box, you get four of these and you get four of these. See, I painted mine already. I've got them painted two different ways. So y'all know me, I, I got to paint it more than one way. Um, so you can do whatever you want to with them. You can glue these together if you so choose to. You can use these separately and you'll have eight hearts or you can have four if you decide to put them together. Um, Okay, so you'll get four of those, four of these, and then you get, there's something stuck to it. What in the world? Okay, you get the little XO, X and the XO, you get a set of those. So here are they. So this is the first one way that I've painted them, okay? 
um, pink and red, and then I did purple, aqua, pink, and red. So that's the first way I did it, and I thought, ah, I gotta do it another way. But I'm not done, I gotta show y'all something else. Um, so this is the other way I painted it. And you can make a little garland out of this. You don't have to put it in the bumble gum machine. You can do whatever you want to with it. So I did the natural look and I love this. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, I'll have to post some more pictures, but I just did them stained and did the, like a off white paint color and did them like that. And then look at the XOs. I put little dots on them, but aren't they cute? But that's what you get in the first box. Now, when it is going to open, um, January 1st on New Year's Day. And like I said, it'll be open that whole week until either we get the number that I've shut it off at because I have to have a shut off point of what I can handle. And then if it, whichever comes first, that Friday or the an amount that I will take in. Um, but it'll open up in like three more months. Um, if you sign up for it, um, it'll be a recurring thing every month. If you sign up in the first 48 hours, you get this little guy, okay? So, he has little hands like this. But I will send you a little piece every month to go in there like that. And, of course, I had to do his, his brother <laughs> in the natural tones, and I love him. So, you'll like the next time you get a box, you'll get another piece that goes in there. Um, you can put him on a sign. You can, I'll send you a triangle. You can stand him up on your tiered tray. You can glue him to something, uh, whatever you want to do with him. So the, the people that sign up in the first 48 hours, they will get him in the first box. And then every month they will get the little piece that goes with him. Um, and it's $17 a month. Um, so the people that get in on this front end, you know, it may, it'll, it'll go up in price at some point. I don't know if it'll be the next time, depending on what the price of wood does. Uh, cause y'all know it's crazy right now. Um, it's $17 a month. And like I said, you get all of that. You get the little gnome if you sign up ahead of time. And of course, you know me, I'm going to throw some little extras in there here and there and just not even tell you it's coming. You'll just get something. And then, um, you'll be in a Facebook group so you can paint it with me. We'll have a live a time or one or two times in there. We'll go live and show you how to paint it. So just stuff like that. I just like to throw in extra so you never know what you're going to get, but it'll be 17 a month. Um, that's shipping and everything. So that's, that's the, you know, and you'll have an option to pay for the whole year at a time. If you pay for the whole year, you're going to get, um, two months free. So you'll have that option too. Terry, the gumball machine stands. Yes, I will put those back in at the first of the at the first of the year. So well, look how good this crackle. Oh my goodness, look how big that crackle is in the middle. It did so good. The gumball machine. Well, you won't get the gumball machine. You'll just get the stuff that goes in the gumball machine. Um, I've showed y'all before, but you'll get, uh, yes, Linda, that does include shipping. That's, that's the price, period. Um, but I'll be posting, I love it, you can change what, yes, Tina, that was my thing, like, you know, I'll just put you a little, another little piece in there for the next time, and you'll get a shamrock, or you'll get a watermelon, or an apple, or a strawberry, or something, you know, that he can hold, a little coffee cup, or something. Whatever I come up with. Um, so that's what's going to go on um, Saturday. My days are so mixed up. Let me grab the bubble gum machine because somebody's talking about wants to see the bubble gum machine. Hold on. It's just from Target. It is a, um, it's a glass canister and Target has been putting these out for a year now, I guess. And um, this one started off red. Can't really tell, but you can tell. And I spray painted it, but now they put white ones out. Hobby Lobby's putting them out. That's my little stand that I sell to put, so your stuff will be risen up. So those are in my shop too, and I'll really restock those at the first of the, 
first of the year. But this is what, um, let me put this back in there. Okay. So, like I showed y'all at one point, there's my little reindeer that I made from the pom-pom ball. But people put little decor things in there, and little scenes in there. Um, I did, I did carrots last year, a whole bunch of different fruit, the love letters I did last Valentine's Day. Um, Rhonda, I quit my job in September of 2020. I had to think about it for a minute. But anyway, people just put stuff in there for decorative purposes. And they come different colors and Hobby Lobby has them and all that fun stuff. Denise, you don't have a Target? Okay, you can get online and you can order it online. i got to paint the sides of this. Um, look under Bullseye's Playground, and they do sell, if you can catch them, they sell the tar the bubblegum machines online, too. But I think you have to buy them two at a time. I'm just ta tapping my edges, because I missed them, evidently. I was worried about my painting over the strokes. <laughs> so, ah! Just put my finger in the paint. But it's okay. But look how good, y'all. It crackled so so good, but I put it on real, real thick. <laughs> Heidi, that stands the next, next best thing since sliced bread. I know, me and my husband kind of came up with that, and he designed the file so I could cut it. He's like, oh, I can do that. That's no problem. So he got to, he got busy and started designing it, and then there it is. And that over there is not dry, and I'm touching it. And making it peel off and I don't have any more paint yeah the gingerbread were for Christmas but now you know don't worry about it if you you know if it's not for you and you can't join and all this kind of stuff nothing on my page is gonna change um, it's just something that I'm trying to add because I've had people ask me um, for that in particular and so I've just trying to answer what people want me to do and of what I feasibly can do. And it's just something that you know that every month you're going to get it. And you're going to have something to craft with every month. Um, so you'll know that you're you're getting it. Okay. So this over here is not dry. Hey, Tina. Uh, Susan, I'm going to post the time of what time it'll be. Um... So, I will, uh, oh, good, Patty, you got some? So, I'll post, you know, later on in the week, I'm going to post, uh, about what time it's going to be, because I don't even know myself, to be honest. Um, because I have to, there's a lot that I have to get set up on the back end of things to make it run smooth. So, I'm, I'm working on all of that right now. Um, well, I'll see if I can't get some more gumball machines. And how about we just, there'll be happy mail for somebody. If I can get some more. I just, you just have to be lucky when you walk in there. Okay. But you can use the cutouts for whatever. You don't have to use them for the, um, for the gumball machines. You can use them for whatever you want to use them for. Um, yeah, and you can put them in a dough bowl. You can put them in so, di so many different ways, all these little pieces. You don't have to use them in the gumball machine. That's just how it kind of started here on my page was I love the gumball machines and I started making them for myself and then I started making them for everybody else and they loved it. So Carol, I'm going to post about it, but it'll be in my shop. Um, okay. So look how fabulous this looks. Does not that look so pretty? I mean, it crackled good. So I think the key is, is the thick, put it on thick and it crackled awesome. Not happy with the way that looks, but we're going to do something else to cover it up. Okay, so now we got to do something to this. Make it pretty. So I kind of saw something on Pinterest that's like this, and that's what I'm, that's where I kind of got my inspiration from. Um, because I thought, oh, this looks perfect. Okay, so y'all know, I like this fabric. It's, um, Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like, it's not duck cloth, so it's not thick. It's kind of a, um... Stacia, it's going to be in my shop, but I'll post on the page about it, you know, and when it's going to go live and all that kind of stuff. 
What, what, I'm so, I can't see what else she says. Susan, no. Tammy Parker, um, you'll get to, you'll get, you'll have a, we'll have a private group on Facebook where I show you like how I painted it this way or how I did it this way. Um, cause a lot of people don't know how to paint different things and you'll, we'll just get to do it on a smaller group level with me and we'll paint and have fun and laugh and I'll show y'all several different ways to do it or use it or whatever. So that's, that's the other thing that you get. Okay, so this fabric, I just tore some. I did it before I came on because it was it's a long piece. But anyway, I got string everywhere. Yeah, you can do them. You can use them, Terry, for anything. Your tear tray, your, your um, dough ball. You can totally do something else with them. You can make a little banner with them. You don't have to do them from what um, the gumball machines. You don't necessarily have to do that. That's just how it got started. So, um, okay. So I took w about one and a half inch, okay, of this fabric. And I tore it the length of my fabric. And this is, this is about a yard. So this was like two yards, I think, long. And I've already done one, one flower. We're going to make flowers with it. Um, it's kind of like muslin. Yes, Nancy. It's like a, I don't know. It looks like muslin. Yes, let's call it muslin. <laughs> So, um, so I'm going to take this piece, it's an inch and a half wide, and I'm going to tie it in a knot. Yeah, Patsy, you can make your own. I showed, I had a, um, I had a, uh, DIY where I did the, the gumball machine out of things from the Dollar Tree. Yes, you can make your own. Okay, so I just tied a knot in it, all right? So, we're going to need our glue gun. And this. So, and depending on how big you want your flowers to be, this is what we're gonna we're going for. It's gonna look like this. And y'all may have made these. Hey Cheryl. So I've got that little tail from the knot. So I'm gonna just put a dot there and glue it to itself. Okay. It's kind of like muslin in the shell. It's I don't think it was called muslin, but I love we're gonna call it that because that's what it looks like. Um it was on the back wall in Hobby Lobby with all those other, I don't know. Yeah, Pat, it's not duck cloth. It's not that thick. Okay, so there's our knot. So I'm just going to wrap, kind of, I'm going to twist my fabric a little, just like once, and then wrap a little bit around my, um, my knot. And then I'm going to put a little dot of glue there. So that's what you do. You just, um, you're going to wrap, you're going to, and I'll twist it and I'll wrap a little more and you're just kind of laying it down on top of each other. Whoop. Um, Deborah, I'll, I'll restock them next week. I just had everything closed and closed out until after the first of the year. Um, cause I got family. I got Christmas to do again this weekend. <laughs> so, so you're just going to, wrap your little this fabric you just kind of gather it up and then you just kind of twist and just keep wrapping and twist and then every once in a while you're going to put a little dot here like that and then whoop, i'm going to burn myself in the process and then you're going to twist and just when you feel like you need to tack it down you'll know because it'll want to start coming unwrapped. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is this. <laughs> Y'all hardly ever use these. Oh, Libby, you love making these? I haven't made them too terribly often. Um, but I saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like, oh yeah, that's those rolled flowers. I love those. Okay, so I'm just twisting and I'm wrapping. And see, it's starting to look like a little fro a little rose. Yeah, I have other minis in my shop, so don't worry that that's the only way you're going to be able to get the small little things. It's it's not going to be the only way, but these these designs that I do, like these hearts, I won't do those for my regular page. It will just be for those people, but I'll have other stuff too. So it's not like I'm not, you know, it'll be something that's cute too. So don't think, you know, oh, I got to have that. 
So if you can't do it, it's totally fine. Nothing on my page is going to change, guys. I promise. Um, Wendy, no, I don't. I wish I did. So this is my first one. So I want to do this one a little bit smaller because I'm going to do several, and I'm going to show you all a little trick I did today too. Drop cloths, yes. Drop cloths make fabulous flowers. This is just what I had on hand. Hey, Cherie. So I'm twisting, and I'm just kind of laying it down, and you're just getting this little look like that. Just little tattered flowers that look really cute. Wait till you see the next one I'm going to do. We're going to do the same method, but wait till you see what I did to the fabric. Cute as a picture background. Okay. All right. So, we'll stop there because it's just a little bit smaller than the first one I did. So, I'm going to cut this off just like that. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to tuck it on the back and glue it down. Right there. Can you give me the measurement of the gumball machine? Message me. Was that Terry? Message me and um, uh, tell me what, like, you want the whole top, the, the, the height, or just the glass part? Oh, look at Judy. She's like, if you cut a square and glue it to the table, you can wrap it easier. That's fancy. Yeah. Okay. So, there's that one we just did. Here's the one I did before. I need to glue this back here. I didn't do a fantastic job of that. Try not to burn yourself. Oh, you just brought a drop cloth? Becky, I need to do it too. Have you washed it? That's what I wonder. Are you supposed to wash it and kind of make it soft? But I don't know. S Stacey, you can cancel it anytime. You can, yes. So you're not locked into it. No, Laurie, it's not a number of months. If something happens and you need to get out, you can get out. Um, and I'm only going to open it, like I open it now. It may be three or four months before I open it again for new people. Okay. All right. So now, see, I have this left out of what I just used. And it depends on how big you want your flowers. You could keep going and going and get bigger and bigger. So I had a piece of this today. And I was like, well, I don't have any pink fabric. Okay. I wanted a light, light, light pink. So... What I did, I'm going to show y'all just for purposes to show y'all, because I already have some done. Um, okay, yeah, Lou, that's what I've heard too. So, just take you a little bit of water. This is those little punch cups from uh, Dollar Tree, and they work wonders for this. Lindy taught me this trick, <laughs> the little punch cups or bowls or whatever. Um, I put a little water in there, and then I'm going to just take some plain old acrylic paint, and I'm going to put it in my water. Kind of like we stain our stuff. Look at it. it. It looks really funny in there. It's like a, it's, it doesn't like spread out. It's like a big blob. Um, here we go. So I'm just going to kind of stir it. And you can use any color you want to. If you want blue, use blue, red, whatever color. And so I've got this nice, pretty little sweet tart colored water. And there's paint on the bottom because it's not going to all mix up, okay? So, I'm just showing y'all this for the practical purposes because it has to dry. Um, so, the rest of this fabric, even though it's this off-white color, I'm going to put it in here like this. And then, yes, it's going to pick up those paint cl clusters of paint on the bottom of the cup. But that's okay because mine did too, the first ones, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So then you're just going to kind of wring it out and you're just basically dyeing the fabric. So if you don't have pink fabric, here you go. And if you have it all wadded up, some spots are going to be kind of still that white color. If you want to leave it that way, you can, or you can re-dip it. But it, sometimes I just roll it around like this and it kind of gets it all pink, okay? So then you just take this like I did. I hung mine outside because it's warm and windy. <laughs> today and I let it dry so now you have pink fabric and you can have any color fabric you want because you can use your acrylic paint so there's pink
But see, it's real light, and this kind of turned out a little dark, but it will dry lighter. So let me show you. Let me wipe myself off and show you uh, what mine look like. So any color paint you have, use that color. I mean, just, and if you add more paint, the darker it's going to be. So I use this, I, I don't know if I used that baby pink today. This is, ba it's called baby pink. <laughs> but the more paint you add, the darker, of course, it's going to be. Um, so this is one piece I did today, and it's real light pink. And then this is another piece. I think this is... <clears throat> Dragon fruit. I think it's Americana Deco Art Dragon Fruit Pink. And there's that piece. So, so you can get different shades with all your different paints. And if you don't have pink paint, take you some red, put a little white, mix it up, make the color pink you want. And then so you don't have to have all the things, okay? You can have what you can just use what you have. Target had the gumball machines. Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot in the end again because these are the same width strips, so about an inch and a half. And there's my knot. So I'm going to take my tail and kind of wrap. Uh-oh, we kind of went off there for a second. I don't know what happened. Yes, the colored the fabric paint tip is awesome because it's not, we're not going to wash this, but acrylic paint stains, if y'all know that or not. I know that y'all know that. Got to. Okay, so there's my knot. So I'm just gonna kind of twist and wrap a little ways. And then I'll just start gluing it down. Do I have a text number? Yes, I do. If you go to www.textlee, L-E-I-G-H, it'll, everything right there will pop right up. I don't know what happened. My connection got stopped or something. Why are they pausing you? I don't know. It's probably my, it may be my connection. Okay. It's real blurry. Maybe it's my internet. It's been windy here today. Okay. So you're just going to twist and you're just going to keep wrapping. There it is. Kaylee put the number up on the screen. Uh-oh. Am I okay? Twist and we're going to keep wrapping and gluing. It's better now. Okay, Stacey, thank you. All right, so I'm sweating, y'all. All right, so I'm just wrapping, and then every once in a while, just kind of twist it. And everybody does it different. There's a thousand ways to do these flowers, and you may have a different way. And if you'll look up, um, look up fabric flowers or rolled flowers, on uh, Pinterest, you'll find a hundred different ones to do because there's so many and it's so fun to do all those, you know, just to try it, just out of scraps of fabric. Some of them are a little complex. Okay, so I'm just twisting and wrapping and twisting. And I want this one to be small, so I'm gonna stop here in just a second because I want a bunch of different sizes. Good, I'm okay now. All right. All right, let's do one more. I got glue all over me, <laughs> all over my fingers. A blizzard going on, goodness. And it's 70 degrees here and I'm sweating. <laughs> and y'all are having snow. It's lightning in Alabama, okay. All right, so now see, that's where I'm stopping. Because it's about the same. It's a little bit smaller than that one and smaller than that one. Because I want a bunch of different sizes. So, I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm just going to glue that to the back side. Just glue it under it. Now, if you want to, you can put felt on the back of these. And put a little pin on the back and put it here. You can put it on a girl's barrette. You can do all kinds of stuff. Hey, Donna. We made this heart and we crackled it from the Dollar Tree. And I'm making little rolled flowers to go on it. So I'm probably going to do it over here because that side doesn't look like I want it to. So I'm going to put some flowers on it like that. Okay. So I'm going to go fast with this one. You've done a few of these? Yes, Judy. I love them too. 
flowers made out of jeans. Yes, yeah, somebody sent me some of the different ones. My words don't match my mouth. What in the world, y'all? What's Facebook doing? Sorry, it's all messed up. Am I messed up on y'all's end? <laughs> yeah, right. I got that finger protector on and I'm using my other fingers. I know. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay. I'll try to do better. Hey, Gail. Oh, Brianna, you got a cricket, th cricket maker for Christmas? That's awesome. I have one of those too. So I'm just going to hurry and finish this one because I'm going to make it smaller. A little bitty rosette. Minus two in Idaho. Oh my gosh, Linda. Y'all stay inside and be warm. How do y'all function like that? I couldn't. I just had to crawl under a rock somewhere and y'all hibernate and I'll just dig me out in the first after the snow thaws. The paint and the water. Um, I mixed paint, acrylic paint and water, and then I just dipped I dipped fat this fabric, um the off-white fabric in it. And just make, just kind of dyed my my uh, material, so you can dye it any color you want to. Let's see. This one's gonna be little, so yeah, that finger protector's not doing really a good job if I don't use it right. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It may be me though, because it's been super super windy. It's t today, so it may just be me. All right, so I'm going to tuck this one under like this. But I, I like these flowers. They kind of go quick, real quick. And that's my kind of thing. I don't want something to take forever. It looks okay now, Patty. <laughs> yeah, I like the snow to look at it for a few minutes, but that's it. Okay, so there's that little one. So now I have these and then I have this bright pink um I'm gonna take this off sea level hey Mary Jane welcome from Columbus Ohio she's getting storms I bet yes Nancy you sent me the flowers made out of jeans I still have them those were so cool she made a whole bunch of flowers out of jeans all right so I'm gonna roll it tie the knot and then I'm just gonna start rolling it to get the center going and then I, every once in a while, I'm just going to twist, and then I'll glue it down. This pink's going to be pretty. Yes, Lisa, with drop cloth, yes, you can do this. And you can probably dye it with the paint, too, and it'll be just the same. It's going to look, you know, it dyes. So, and you can also, what would really look cool, too, is make the flowers out of the drop cloth, and then just brush on some pink on them. And then it won't get down in all those little cracks, and it's going to look really cool. So... That would be neat, too, to try. Hey, Jerry. Okay, so I'm just rolling, and then I'll twist. Just supposed to just look like a little rolled-up rose, like a rosette kind of thing. You can do it with burlap, um, any kind of fabric, really, will work. Let's see. Let me twist it that way. But see how it starts to look like a little uh, rose. Yeah, Judy, that's what I've heard too, is to wash the drop cloth to kind of get it soft because it's real stiff. Like real stiff. Raining all day here. That's what they somebody said it was storming in Ohio, Mary. It's supposed to storm here tomorrow. It's 70 degrees here in Mississippi. So we always know that when it gets hot in the winter, it's going to storm. It's going to storm. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop here. Oh, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Ooh. I was making you nervous with the f <laughs> my fingers. I know, I need some just gl all-out gloves, right, to do stuff like this. Okay, try not to burn myself. Yay! I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back, too. I missed y'all. Even though I was having fun, I missed y'all. So, look at, look at my different colors. So, see, I got my light pinks, and then I got that off-white color. And, let's see. New Brunswick candle, hang on the bus. Goodness. Okay, so I'm going to take this white piece, and I'm going to make a little white one. little white rose. 
to throw in there with my my plaster colored stuff. How do I get in the crafting channel on Roku? I don't know. I'm not on the crafting channel. Hey, you look fuss commented back. Hey, Candace. Hey, Trina, how are you? Okay. I'm going to cut a little of that tail off because it's long. But see, I still have a bunch of this pink that I dyed. I have a bunch of it left. So I can use it for another one or something else. So um, I'm not going to throw it away. I have a little bin of fabric over here. I just throw it in and I'll pick it up and use it for something else. Okay, so I tied my knot. And it's inch and a half wide approximately. Um... And I'm just going to wrap it around the middle of, you know, my knot a few times and twist it and get it started. Okay, so then I have like this little rosette thing. And then I'm going to tack it down every so often and then twist and wrap and twist. And then just glue it when you think you need to glue it. You'll know because it'll you'll start feeling it kind of wanting to come apart. You laid them on the table like that? Yeah. That's what somebody else said. But it's, I, I don't know. I guess I just like holding it in my hands. But plus I needed to show y'all how to do it. Um, how did I get that heart to look like that? I used a crackle medium. Um, hang on and I'll show it to you. I used this right here. Folk Art Crackle Medium. Now this is a big bottle. I've had it like two years and you see how much I've used out of it. So... They have it in a smaller bottle, but you can use Elmer's school glue or just the Dollar Tree school glue. You can use it too. But it looks really pretty. You paint a dark color underneath and then light and then the crackle stuff. And then you let that dry and then you paint the um, your paint on your light color on top. So it just makes it do that. But so will Elmer's glue, okay? You don't have to have the crackle medium. I've just had it for a long time. I had to have it for something or thought that I had to have it <laughs> instead of using just glue. Welcome from North Dakota. Somebody said North Dakota. That's a long way from me. 70 to 80 mile an hour winds. Oh my goodness. Cream and white. Yes, I started just to do the cream and white. And then I thought, oh, I'm just going to throw in a little bit of baby pink so we can dye the fabric. Uh, with our paint. So that's what I did. Because I wanted to show you all that. The tall, the seasonal gnomes are. Cindy, is it 10 inches? I think, maybe. 10 inches. What is the crafting channel? I don't have a crafting channel. I have it right here. <laughs> I have a channel on YouTube. That's where all my videos go to. But they're on here too. Um, there's some that are on YouTube that aren't on here. Let's see. So, you're welcome to go find me there. I think, I want to say, Cindy, it's 10 inches, I want to say. All right. A little bit bigger, and then I'll be done with this one. We're going to finish this. I know. I love the flowers, too. If you, What if you want tiny crackles? Lisa, I think if you do it, don't paint it as thick. Like, I painted it real thick on. And I think the thicker you paint it the bigger the crackles will be. So if you just paint it light with the medium, then I think that's when you get the bigger crackles. I think somebody told me that the last time I used it. So that's what I did this time. I went big. I did it real thick. Okay. Hey, from Southern California. What's the weather like out there? Fabric. This is just white broadcloth. Like I got it from a... a the remnant section at Hobby Lobby. So it's just cotton. Um, but see, there's my white one. This is like the muslin kind of fabric. Um, and then this is our fabric that I, the, that I dipped in the water and acrylic paint to get the pink color. So this was dipped and I got this. So experiment with it. Play around with it. Um, so now I'm going to put them on my heart in some form or fashion. See if I can get it to look all pretty. I'm trying, I'm covering up that one spot that I'm not real happy about. How it, whoop, 
how it uh, crackled. See, I'll show y'all. See, it kind of, it didn't cover as well. So you can see the brown, like a spot. So I'm going to cover that up. So let me get my flowers kind of how I want them. Let's see, hold on. How it looks, how I want it to look. Um, onto wet glue. Huh. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Pizza always makes me thirsty. All right, so I think then, where's my, I have this greenery, but I really think I'm going to take off some lamb's ear and put lamb's ear leaves on it. 80s, goodness. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing them down, I think. I think that's about how I want them. I was trying to find, you know, the the metal letters that Dollar Tree puts out every year for Valentine's and they put them out for Halloween. I was, I have a bunch of those somewhere in here and I was tearing this place like a mad woman trying to find them because I want to put love over here, but I can't find them. So I'm going to have to dig them out and dig around and try to find them. Lots of rain and snow. Whew. So I'm just hot gluing my little flowers down. Swap the light pink and the dark pink. Uh-oh, well, it's glued down now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm just putting some glue on the back and sticking them down. Don't think so, but I never used it. Okay, so that's what I got so far. See, I probably kind of tilt it to the side a little bit. And that looks really, really bright pink to y'all. But when I look at it in the camera, I'm like, dang, that looks bright. It's not as bright. Minus 30 in Albert Celsius, though. So I don't know how Celsius goes with ours. Yeah, I think the lamb's ear is going to be better. So I have this branch from Walmart, I think. And I'm probably just going to... I'm going to cut some off and just kind of play with it and poke it in there and see where I want to put it before I glue it down. Anytime you've painted over, it doesn't crack, Kathy. Maybe you didn't put enough. That Maybe that's what it was. Maybe you got to paint it thicker because I painted it pretty thick. Okay, let's see. Let's move this one down here. Okay, I may have to trim some of these leaves because I'm trying to use some of the small ones. Sacramento, 25%, goodness gracious. Okay, see, look how pretty that light green is going to be on there. It's going to be pretty. So, yes, yeah, Shirley, that's the way I've done it. I've let my Elmer's glue dry, but somebody else said you let it almost dry. So, it's been a long time since I've done it. So, I'll be honest, it's been a while. Um, so I'm just kind of sticking these here and there, but that soft green looks really, really pretty. Okay. So, um, now I'm getting down to the big leaves. Like, so I would try to cut some of these and make them a different size, but here's me another, see, I save all these pieces and parts and stuff that I don't use of my greenery because I know I'll use it at some point. I'm just poking them in there for now to see kind of what I want to do. Your car is frozen shut, Lisa. Oh, no. You're going to call your boss and say, I can't come to work. My car is frozen shut. <laughs> oh, yes. It would be pretty with some burlap flowers. That would be beautiful. Okay. I think I'm moving that one up here. Good thing about it is I can just stick them in here and just kind of, I don't know if I like that. The way I, you know, get it kind of that way. Like I want it. Hey, Carissa. Okay. I think I'll put, let's put two leaves up here. See, I got two over here because I kind of don't want it to look like a caterpillar <laughs> with legs. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's going to start to look funny. Let's see. Put 
some up there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to leave them like that for, for let me look at it for a minute because um, I might move them around. I'm going to glue this right here down. 20, negative 22 Fahrenheit. Oh, Lordy, that's too cold for me. Goodness gracious, that's cold. Whew. Okay. So now we got to have a hanger. And I am going to put, like I said, I'm going to hunt for those, those metal words, you know what I'm talking about, that Dollar Tree has. I'm going to hunt for mine because I would love to put, whoop, leaves is falling. I would love to put the love one right here. And like maybe paint it. So I've got to um, tilt the leaves. I've got to find them. Because I was tearing up this room. Before I came live, I was like, oh my gosh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? And of course, you know I can't find uh, what I need right then. But I'll get off and I can find them probably. Folk art crackle. Yeah, it's crackle medium. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, Amazon. Walmart may have it. Um, but it comes in a smaller jar. Like I said, I've had this like two years. And you, you see how much I've used. <laughs> Unless you're painting a piece of furniture. 35 here the other day. And that's too cold. Ugh. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Alright, so I just got some jute. I don't know if I should double it or not. I may have to not double it got the one from amazon okay so i just i'm just looping it in itself like that a slip knot or whatever you want to call it i know this is going to be very pretty i think the two leaves together look the best and yes where did i just i've already i've lost one here he is i think so too i think the leaves together look better folk art Crackle medium. Gonna need to go to Amazon. Yeah. And I may have got it on Amazon. I just can't even remember. Because it's not a Hobby Lobby sticker on it. So. Okay. So I'm just. I'm gonna put. Whoop, I'm just gluing my, my, my leaves on. I'm just gonna put some smaller little wood beads on here. And make it very simple. Did I make my jute? What'd she say? 27 in Colorado. Y'all stay warm. As the older people used to say, y'all better pull up the felt tonight. It's going to be cold. I had a lady I used to work with. That's what she used to say all the time. Y'all better pull up the felt. That man, it's going to get cold, cold. All right. She always had these funny sayings. I loved it. The thicker it is, paint. Now, yeah, don't brush back over it. You have to brush over the crackle stuff and don't brush back and forth. So I'm just going to put a few little beads. That's three. Probably five. Thank you, Jerry. Y'all are so sweet to be on here. Okay. So, well, I got to get my leaves glued on. So I think I'm going to just tie a knot up here. So I'll have like a little loop to hang it with. Because I'm going to hang it in my tobacco basket that's in my house. Oh, y'all are y'all are in Colorado finding each other in Colorado. Okay. So let me glue my leaves on. The down comforter. Whew, that's making me sweat thinking about down comforter. Uh-oh, low, low battery. All right, so let me glue my leaves because they keep coming off. Thank you, Lori. Y'all are sweet. Y'all appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I love chatting and catching up. I feel like I've missed all my friends. And then Thursday, I'm going to show y'all some other stuff that's coming on my page that I'm going to do um, that I've been working on that today. And I was like, oh, I got to show them. Let's see. Let's put two here. It's gluing my leaves in. 
that one looks safe and secure, but you know, it'll pop out the minute I say that it'll come out. Let's put but that pink and that green is so pretty together. Hey from Vermont. Look, that's so pretty. Look how pretty. Right, I'm gonna put one more. See my leaves when they get further down the stem, they're huge. And I could cut it. See, they spray them with some kind of stuff. Because, you know, they, they're stuck together. I don't know. They spray them with that fuzzy stuff. I could trim them down. I'll do a little gardening over here and try to trim my, my lamb's ear. See? Don't even know. <laughs> Let me see. Australia. Wow. It's a long way from Mississippi. See, I think I'm going to put two over here. Somehow. Let's lift that up. Stick him under there. And I'll hold it down with this little thing. We are dropping here with a wind, seven degrees at night. Woo! Arizona. Phew. That was supposed to be hot in Arizona. <laughs> Judy, I do too. I love the texture of the lamb's ear. I think it adds that soft green greenery to it. But I've got, even if I don't find my little letters, which I'll find them, the love, I want to put love right here. But I can't hand letter, I'm telling you. Um, but I'm going to find the, the metal ones, and I'll probably put it sideways this way. But, y'all, look how stinking cute this was. And this is from the Dollar Tree. Just a piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and some fat torn fabric and just some greenery scraps. But the crackle, I love the crackle. But I honestly, I started not to do the crackle. I started to do what I always do and do the dark and then do the white distressed or the Vaseline technique. That's what I started to do. And then I thought, oh, I'll do the crackle. And look how cool that crackle looks. It looks so stinking cool it crackled really well for me <laughs> not hot in arizona now we're freezing well deborah we're hot in mississippi it's like 70 degrees i'm sitting here sweating right now and then sunday it's gonna be 35 40 degree difference in temperature and then we wonder why we get sick <laughs> so but look how stinking cute this is i absolutely love it so see i'll let this one dry that we dipped in the water um, and it's drying now. It's actually a lot drier than it was. And I'll throw it in my fabric bin, and then I'll make some more flowers on something else. Um, but you can do any, any color of this that you want. Um, yeah, Carrie, I get Lindy to letter it up for me, or she'll say, no, I'm going to teach you, and you do it. <laughs> That's what she'll tell me. Um, but, um, uh, but you can do your fabric any color you want to match whatever you want to do, and, it's just so easy because you already have the craft paint. And if you just buy this one color of fabric, you can have any color of fabric you want. So you can color it with your paint. And my hair is going crazy over here. Look how stinking cute. So cute. I'm very happy with it because I'm going to put it when I take my Christmas down, which will probably be Sunday, when it's too cold to do anything else, <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Christmas down. Um... Yeah, Renee, it's going to get us all on Sunday. It's going to go swooshing in. Sacramento is cold. So, y'all stay warm. Yeah, Judy, us too. It's been hot. We're in the south. You don't never know what to expect in the wintertime. It might be cold. It might be hot. You might have the air conditioner on and the heat on in the same day. Um, so, you don't ever know what you're going to get. At least in the summer in the south, it's going to be hot. That's it. You know it's going to be hot. <laughs> Yeah, I just cut the lamb's ear off of like a pick that I had. And I just cut them off. And I think the pick's from Walmart. But you can get lamb's ear, you know, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. But I think it is really, really pretty. I love it. I just love the softness of it. But I'm going to put some Valentine stuff out when I take my Christmas up. So I'm trying to make me some stuff. And I got to get rid of all this Christmas stuff back here. <laughs> um... Oh, Phoebe, they remind you of <clears throat> Cam uh, Camilla's that 
float in a pint, like a bowl. That's, yeah, they do. Pretty, 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 pretty. Yes, Linda, I will. I'm going to enjoy. Um, they're coming tomorrow, so they'll stay through the weekend, and I'll get to spend, have our Christmas with them. So, Nancy, you're taking it down? I'll probably take mine down in steps. Like, I'll take this tree down, and then I'll, you know, wait a little while and take the other tree down. And Because I say that I'm going to organize it all this year. I say that every year. <laughs> Normally, we just jerk it off the tree. It all gets put back in the box, and nothing gets organized, and nothing gets, you know. Y'all know how it is? I say that every year. Now, you have to make you one. Yes, Gwen. And you probably have the stuff to make it. If you have the Elmer's glue, try the Elmer's glue. If it doesn't work, sand it and then start over. Or do the other side. So, at least try You could try the Elmer's glue trick. Um, and see if it uh, works. Because it's, it's worked for me in the past. Just look, you know, Google it. Look it up on Pinterest. The, the Elmer's glue crackle. Um, and it'll crackle too. But you don't have to do crackle. You could just do white distressed. And some fabric and paint your fabric with a little bit of water and acrylic paint. Um, Roxanne, I keep a lot of them. A lot of them I give away. Um, but some of them are in bins and stuff like that that I keep. I don't know why. But, um, but a lot of them I put in my decor. So, yes. Oh, Kathy, I bet that is pretty. A banner with a tassel and hearts, neutral colors, burlap, and lace. That would be pretty. Susan, I have to get mine organized about once a month because it gets tore up. Like I was in here this evening before I come live trying to look for those metal words. And I have pulled out stuff and it looked all neat before I did that. And now I've got bins pulled out and stuff pulled out of them because I'm like, I know they're here somewhere. I put them somewhere. Cannot find them. And when I get off, I'll probably start looking again and put my hands right on them and be like, there they are. Um, you shrink wrap your tree, Ellen? That is hysterical. Do you wrap the saran wrap around it and then put it in the closet? Hide glue. I've never heard of that. Yeah, this could be left up year round. It's very pretty. Especially the spring. I'm ready for spring. I think after New Year's, it should just be spring. Like few days later and it should start being spring. I don't like January and February. I don't like it, the cold and the dead and the depressing. And, you know, I, I like the spring and happy and all that. You're very strict, Judy, about it. Well, mine are organized, but there's some that I need to get rid of. And I've already gotten rid of some. But it needs to be, the bins need to be, you know, like this is all together. This is all together. You know, it just needs to be gone through and straightened up. And I say every year I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, Sunday, I'm probably going to try to do it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I like, I would like the idea of thinking of putting up a tree year, all year long. But then I don't do it. But some people do and they're so cute. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then I'm like, I can do that. No, I don't. <laughs> my husband would probably think I was cuckoo. Still in my vehicle. Now where to put it? <laughs> Susan's going to make her one. Christmas 50% off. Yeah, and Hobby Lobby only has it still 66%. I was really shocked after Christmas. Thank y'all for the hearts. You're so doing this, Cherokee said. All right, guys. Well, I am going to hop off. And like I said, I'm going to be showing y'all some more pictures of the little things that are going to be um, in the subscription thing that's coming up Saturday. And some stuff that's coming that's not that. That's just going to be in my shop. So, I'm going to show y'all some more Thursday when I come live on that. Um, label, label. What is, she, what is Linda says? Label, label. I don't know what that means. I want a she shed. Yes, I need double the space that I have. <laughs> Cold nature. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good evening. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and um, just being faithful to be here. And I appreciate it. And even if you're watching replay, thank you for watching the replay. And I hope you give this a try because ah, this is going to be cute. I can't wait to hang it up now. But I got to make some more stuff for my house for Valentine's. Um, so y'all have a good evening. Thank y'all for being here. Love y'all. Bye, guys.